Now it's the fifth gear team test. We're at the Millbrook Proving Ground, one of Europe's most advanced research centres. With 49 different tracks and terrains, it's the perfect place for us to test new cars. Today, the team tested the brand new Range Rover. This all new version of the Imperious Off-Roader costs between 71 and 98,000 pounds. It's supposedly more luxurious than ever and comes with a choice of two diesels and one petrol engine. We're testing the most powerful diesel, the 4.4 litre turbocharged V8. Right, boys, this is the new Range Rover. It's 420 kilograms lighter than the predecessor, but it's still a hefty that's sort of 2,300 kilograms. It's not half a tonne. Brand new Range Rover, Mark IV, British institution. What do we think of its looks? Well, not much different to the old one, really. Yeah, it's massively different. It's massively different. different. Johnny kicks off all the shapes, the curves, the curves. The, the previous Range Rover was boxy. Look yes. at this. Curves. We've agreed. Curves. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Curves. Really curves. Yeah. curves. Yeah, we get that. Curves. We get that. Yes, they've improved a few things and it's smoother and more rounded. But it's still a Range Rover. You can definitely tell, gosh, wow, that's the new Range Rover. Gosh, wow, it's just... actually, it's got all heart for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Range Rover, it's a Range Rover. This is why oh, you look. buy a Range Rover. What, just what? the tell you? Sit there and Where, just where would you sit like I that? I don't know, when you're going to horsey events. <laughs> Country girls and their ponies, I don't know. Just so the viewers know, we're in the autobiography model, so this is the Top flagship. Spec. Really like the interior, feels like a special place. Totally flush controls on the centre console. Lots. Look how neat and minimalist this is. Inside, it looks like a, a, a VIP corner of a nightclub. It's all shiny black and just it, a bit... It's well put sexy together. Sexy porno, dirty oh, leather. Sexy really porno, yeah. dirty <laughs> leather. <laughs> this Range Rover is the most luxurious that they've ever made, according to Range Rover. Could it be as luxurious as the most luxurious saloon in the world? For that, we put it up against the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Reminding ourselves what the most opulent car on sale is like will help us judge the luxury levels of the Range Rover. So we went for a spin. Now, this is the car that I actually don't want to drive. I'd rather be driven in this. I should have been at the back with those lovely champagne glasses and whiskey decanters. The Rolls is just phenomenal. It's drenched in wealth. If this is supposed to put us in the mood of comparing to a Range Rover, the Range Rover's in trouble. Second-hand Phantoms are now a mere £95,000. So rich petrol heads are left with a dilemma. If you're after luxury driving, should you buy a used Rolls-Royce or a brand new Range Rover? Time to find out. Getting back into the Range Rover after the Rolls-Royce was a bit of a shock. It's not quite as plush or as comfortable, but it's certainly got that same air of quality about it, and that's the big word that keeps on coming through, quality. Does it feel like a big old bus fit? No, it doesn't. I can place this a lot more quickly than I can the roller. This feels so sprightly. Does it? Yeah, it really does. Do you know how much torque this got? Go on. Five sixteen pounds feet. So is that that's nearly as much as the uh, the Rolls V12? Wow. Isn't really? it? That's a good stat. Yeah. The ride quality is not what you'd expect from a luxury saloon. Really? It's not really? Like it's not as good as the Rolls. Ooh. Whoa, you dirty swine. The Range Rover can't match the luxury of the roller, but it is better than ever to drive on the road. The question is, has the nippier handling compromised its abilities off-road? Of course, we had to find out. So, to test it, they put in the world's worst off-road driver, me, um, to see how we went. Well, that's 700 millimetres, and this car can wade up to 900 millimetres, which is three feet. Yeah. Oh. Can you... Are we ready? OK, let's get... Ah! Right, can I officially state for the record that Vicky Butler Henderson is a lunatic. The world's worst off-road driver with never... the world's best off-road car. Off-roading's predominantly about doing these things slowly and progressively and gassing it very occasionally, but Vicky was hot on the gas. You're joking! No, no, that's too far. Uh, that's... We hit that waiting pool at way too fast to speed. What's, got, what's happened there? It's all right. Was there any need to do that? We nearly turned it into a 95,000 quid submarine. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> How did you 
It kind of like went, I went a bit quick in the bow wave. That was in the off road driver's manual, was it? <laughs> Create a small bow wave and push it forward. <laughs> She's emptied the bonnet. <laughs> Do you know the way the engine breathes through a hole in the bonnet? The bonnet was underwater by about 10 inches. <laughs> Babe, I know. The car was fine. It didn't even misfire or complain. I'm trying to conquer my off-road fear. We're really you've you've done it, it, surely. Do you, do you feel invincible in this? Yeah, I do, After doing actually, that? I do. I like the Range Rover. I think it looks great. I'm going to give it an eight. The Range Rover no longer rolls. It certainly rocks. And I'll give it an eight. I'm going to score the Range Rover nine and a half, which is the most I've ever scored a car. I'm going to give it a nine. So the brand new Range Rover gets a team test score of 34 and a half out of 40.